I'm hungry. Also, what time is it? It's breakfast time, and I'm in a mood for omelet. But how will we ever get her away? Eh, I know a guy. Ooh, pretty. All right, let's get out of here before she sees us. But won't she notice that the egg's gone? Don't worry, I got it covered. Oh, God, what is that thing? We don't ask questions. Well... Maybe someone oh, should no, be. No, you, no, you no, get no. Out of here. <sighs> Stupid lights and always be distracting and. Mama! The hell is that? Yeah, that's something I would like to know. Hey, my name is Super Important My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going over the X Plus Godzilla vs. The Thing Mothra from 1964. Steve, what is that thing? The, that Mothra? No, no, no. I'm talking about the poster. Oh, you mean the giant tentacle monster thing? Yeah. It's Mothra. Mothra evolved into hentai? Yeah, it was where hentai evolved into Mothra. Oh. oh. <laughs> I guess you could also call it Godzilla vs. Mothra if you want to be technical. Uh, from the Showa era. And this is the reissue. Uh, this is not the first release, which it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Like, they're pretty much the exact same figures when they come out later on as well. Uh, but I mainly picked up this one just because I don't have a 1964 in my collection. I have a 1961 with the Revoltec, but not technically a 64. So decided to get this. Now it makes me sad because I'm going to have to try to acquire a 64 Godzilla at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get the uh, gigantic one. No, it has to be at least sort of. like 30. I can maybe get away with a 30 next to that thing. 25 preferably, but maybe a 30. I don't know. This thing is huge. No, no, it's pretty big, and we're just going to get into it. So without further ado, for the packaging, what you have here is a crap ton of whites. Small box. A very small. very small box, because I, like, I have this so far back, I can't even reach it from here. <laughs> but you can see the nice top view of the Mothra done in a black and white color scale. Uh, most of the rest of the box, pretty boring, but you do get some warnings and some legal mumbo jumbo on the back. So, uh, yeah. I think there's nothing on the bottom. There we go. So anyways, uh, since she's already opened up out of her cardboard prison, let's just get into her. All right, so now that we got Mothra opened up out of her cardboard prison, first we're going to go... Ugh. You know, I really didn't want to take it off the stand and to show off its details, but I feel like I'm going to have to. Uh, you might have to, like, disassemble it and, you know, show parts like the egg and the stand and everything and then put it back together. That egg ain't coming back off. I'm going to warn you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Uh, it just... What you got to do in order to get this on is you need to heat where the rod goes into... Mo you know what? I'm just going to drag it over here. Let's see if I can... Just I know this can come out, so we're good there. I don't know if I'm getting the rod out of her <laughs> is the issue. Oh, that's scary. All right, Jesus so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think I had it at that angle. But anyways, you have to heat this hole right here in order to get the rod here, at least for mine. Because there was a lot of excess vinyl around here. So it was a very tight hole to begin with sticking Giggity. this rod into it. So you have to heat it up in order to jam it in there. Uh, pretty much mostly the same hold. Uh, I don't really want to set her down by herself. So I hold her by her wings, right? Try to flap them? Yeah, by the antennas. Oh, I'm sorry. By the antennas. And then the hole up here at the top of the base. Uh, and then you have to heat up the bottom of the egg and squish it onto here. Uh, but they painted where the egg hooks onto, so it kind of has a NECA problem where you're just kind of like rubbing it on until it fits. Uh, but overall for the detailing, though, egg looks really nice. It kind of has this really Easter egg coloring uh, with some yellows, blues, some teals, and whites sprinkled throughout the egg. Uh, the background here, you just get a little mountain, which has some greens here for some of the foliage. Lots of brown, sand coloring. Uh, same with speaking up for the sand. Done very nicely too, with some great texturing. And also, what could arguably be the thing's footprint? Because we never saw the thing in the movie. So It's not a Godzilla footprint, that's for sure. No, that's Godzilla's footprint. No. 100%. No. He has three toes. There's like a little crack right there, though. But, but that is so small. Look how small it is compared to the egg. I thought he was like a lot bigger than the egg is. No, I remember the egg was gigantic in the movie. So he, like, in terms of foot, would have been like 
that much bigger than the egg. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, so it, it seems fine. I'd have to actually get the X Plus and like stick them on top of it in order to actually find out if it's the correct sizing. It would be amazing if it actually does fit in there. That would be cool. And on the bottom, just a bunch of green. And what terrified me when I first got this figure out of its packaging was that I went to, I heated it up, stuck the rod in, and it went straight through the bottom. <laughs> and I thought I tore the vinyl. I was crushed until I realized that that is actually supposed to be there. I would have been pissed. Yeah, so we're all good. But yeah, so you'll have to insert your rod. It was much easier for me to get it into here than it was the bottom, but uh, it also kind of wiggles around a bit. Because now it's not peeking through, whatever. Looks really nice. And I love that it came with like an actual like display base. Instead of just like a clear stand with a rod in it. But Steve, we're just so used to so plain. Yeah, kind of. Well, not really with X Plus. Because I the, honestly, this is the first flying figure I've really ever paid attention to. Like something that has legitly a full flying figure. Because I can't remember, I don't know if GMKs came with a base or not. You can let us know in the comment section below, especially if you guys got one. We'd be interested to know. Uh, but still really cool. It helps to add to the overall presentation of Mothra, especially from that film. So for a closer look at Mothra's details for its head sculpt, looks phenomenal. Steve, do you know what I like about this Mothra? Huh? It's I can lose myself in those deep blue eyes. I like, too, that they're translucent plastic, so if you can cram a light into there, the light up. It should go for, through the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing is, is I thought maybe these mouths were articulated. Oh, it's not? Well, funny thing. <laughs> this one shifted over on me. Like, that's how it came in for me. But you can see here that there's paint there. So I think that's supposed to be glued in over here. But... Mine just kind of came in halfway articulated. <laughs> but the other side don't move at all, right? Yeah, the other side doesn't move at I all. I wouldn't push it. So, uh, I, I like it open anyways, just even if it was articulated. But, yeah, it's just odd. Just makes your Mothra unique, that's all. <laughs> I guess so. We got the little antennas on the front. That's fuzz is done. The one thing about this Mothra is, compared to the other Mothras, it is a fairly ugly colored bug. <laughs> Like, it's got turd stained fur pretty much all over its body. I guess it's a little more realistic looking, right? Like, it's it's dirty and gritty looking. Yeah. But you can also see here on the under section, too, if it's little arms are kind of all over the place. But look really nice. You get three or two little toes on the front, one on the back for gripping. And some copyright information on the bottom here as well with this dark brown fur on the under section, a little bit on the forehead. On the top though, you get a little bit more coloring with some oranges, which is really nice. It's just kind of like looking at it from like the front and the side. It just looks like it was kind of like playing around the dust. And it's little fluffy antennas on the front, which are super terrifying. Because this thing just like randomly face planted. These are easily gonna be the first thing to go. On the top section here, again, get some oranging. With the bottom being a lot more colorful too. Done in my orange, brown, and sand coloring with its little <laughs> thing on the back here. I'm not exactly sure what the color because even like the Heisei Mothra, this is actually a hard piece. Well, this one's actually fluffy. We're gonna call it what it is, Steve. And for its wings, a lot of coloring there. A lot of brightness. Yeah, with its trademark Mothra pattern, you see pretty much on most every Mothra, especially with the little eyes on the edge of the wings here. It's really hard to show off the detailing for you guys, like, cause it's just, it's such a big fit. Like you see my hand is like the size of its butt. So. Anus. Sorry, anus. But for the wings, you get some black with yellowing, some more of the sand fur along the edges here. With its fuzz on the side here, done in a very wave pattern with some more reddish orange here on the bottom with some little eyeballs there as well. Or at least what looks like eyeballs in the pattern. I like too that it has like these little yellow marks on the side here that kind of almost look like clips. Or something supposed to be there. Like maybe where the... Looks like crowns. Oh, it, it, I feel like... Yeah, they kind of look like crowns, don't they? But this might have been more for... Mothra. Or queen in this case. It'd be queen. Yeah. Okay, so what... You know what? One thing I want to point out 
is that's frustrating for Mothra, at least doing the videos, is I call it a she in every video, right? Yeah. And like I've never had that complaint. I called it a he in Mothra Leo videos. You know how many people comment that that stupid thing's a chick, even though it's not? It's a dude. It's, it's a, a dude Leo. Mothra. Mothra Leo. Rebirth of Mothra, it's a boy. Mothra Leo. It's a dude. Stop yelling at me about it. I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's one of the aggravating things. But what, no, what I think about these is probably where the wires were for the uh, the wings. So that's how it flaps. So I, that, that that's what makes sense to me. It actually looks like those, like, uh, latches you'd put the string on, you know? Yeah, a little kind of, like those little metal bars. Yeah. Maybe they, like, wrapped them around the string. I'm not exactly certain. I don't really know a whole lot about the behind the scenes, but... That's what would make sense for me anyways. Uh, but yeah, detailed very nicely. Paint job looks fantastic. Uh, sadly, zero articulation. But the body here is done in a vinyl, but the wings feel like they're a resin. So definitely, again, one of those figures that's super terrifying. Like, it's not something I really would like, without it being on stand, leave on a table. Like, it's either you have it in its box... Or you have it on a stand. So for a quick comparison, here we have Mothra compared next to some other 25 centimeter Godzilla X Plus figures with Burning Godzilla and Godzilla 1971. And here she is with some 30 centimeter figures of Mecha Godzilla 1975 and the Godzilla vs. Evangelion crossover figure of Unit 2. And here she is with some Bandai Vinyls with GMK Mothra and Mothra Leo. And just to show you guys just really truly how gigantic this thing is, here it is compared next to the Revoltic Mothra 1961 and the SH Monster Heisei Godzilla first release. Oh, technically second release because he didn't have the beam. So overall for the X-Plus 1964 Mothra, this thing is awesome. If you guys are into Mothra, especially if you're into the film Godzilla vs. The Thing, you can't really pass up on this thing. Uh, especially for a 210, I feel like it was a pretty solid investment. If I didn't hate Mothra so much, I would have got it. But I'm going to save my pennies for the gigantic 64 Godzilla because I need him to step on this because he's gigantic. Oh, but you don't want to step on it, it'll break. I need this. <laughs> we got to compare the feet, make sure it fits in that thing. I, I think we're a little off there, buddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, still very happy that I picked this up. Now I got to try to get myself a 64, which is going to be fun. Especially since I don't even know where the heck I'm putting this thing now. Like, I have literal where my X pluses go, I have no room for this. He is kind of a shelf hog, or I mean, excuse me, she is kind of a shelf hog because she's so wingspan wise well the thing. nice thing is is if you have her next to other 25 centimeters they'll fit under her wings somebody's got to protect them from all the uv rays out there and yeah gotta, you gotta keep them in the shade problem is that i have 30 centimeters so they're no. <laughs> majority of mine are kind of big godzillas so we'll have to work that out eventually i also feel like i need a larva the larvas to go with this isn't there a godzilla coming out it comes with the two larvas that is the default reel. I'm going to try to get that. Uh, I was thinking about it. Uh, that might be kind of cool to go with. Uh, they, it looks so wrong, though. You have these like little chibi things next to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, perfect. The babies are deformed. Well, they were kind of deformed in the movie. Oh. Let's all be real here. All suddenly the chibi ones or whatever they're called, they don't look too bad. They look realistic. Yeah, this is like, they look adorable, unlike everything else in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? If you guys picked up this X-Plus, what's your favorite version of Mothra? Is Batch or just more thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of this gal on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account exclusive prints for the channel, also down in the description. And help us defeat those cards by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.